hello everyone so i just wanted to do a quick video i know everyone has been waiting to get the results um, about my mri and i just wanted to share that i actually got a call this evening about the results but i just want to share with everyone because i know that many have been praying for me um, i did the mri in july we are now in september and the first result that I had got was not the best news to me, but as I said, I've always just put my trust in God, no matter how it looks, just trust God for whatever he's doing, because I may not understand it. Um, we don't understand God's will for our lives, but just I've learned to just put my trust in him and just leave it alone. The results I got at first was saying that the first and the main tumor had increased by a little bit. And the doctor says it could be because of the pregnancies and it could be because of my position. Because the first MRI I did, I was laying down. This one, I was sitting up, like I showed you in my previous videos, if you haven't seen that. And before I go any further, if you have not, seen any of my previous videos you may want to go back to my diagnosis in order to catch up on what's happening go ahead and subscribe and also share the video it will encourage someone um, like it has encouraged me and many others um, so go ahead and click that button um, so she said that the main tumor has increased um, just a little bit in size and honestly when she said that I just felt my spirit just sinking low like I just was not feeling the best like I I'm like God I was trusting in you I I put all my trust in you I just was hoping for good news and um, she said the blood work was really good because the blood work goes along with the MRI images so that was fine so I was like okay thank you Lord that my levels are staying really really good and I said but what about the other tumor and she says this report doesn't make any mention of the other tumor so I said what so I started to get happy and I said, does that mean that it's not there? But she is so careful in what she says to me. So she says, I'm not going to say that, but let's do this. So I still had my CD from the results. So usually doctors want to compare, but they don't want to look at the report. They need to look at the pictures. So the next day I dropped off the CD because I went to a new location and for them to compare and we're waiting and waiting from July and they weren't hearing anything. And at this point, normally I do an MRI every year, but my doctor says we might have to do one every three to six months because I just need to keep an eye out. In the meantime, um, I have several doctor friends and I would share with them and one says to me, um, how is your eyesight? And I was like, I can see good because usually if the tumor is that big, it can interfere with your, with your sight. And I said, no, I'm not having any issues with my sight. And then it started to mess with my head. Like, oh my gosh, my sight, my seeing, you know, what was going to happen? And I had to just put all that under the blood. I just really had to just pray and trust God that everything would be fine. Remember, I believe in having faith. I believe in trusting God. Um... But there are times where your flesh gets in the way and you, your mind gets in the way and i just had to really refocus my thinking and say you know god remember i'm not just believing with mustard seed faith i am believing with mango seed faith and my aim and determination is to have a bigger seed faith eventually you know just keep growing and growing and i want my story to be able to encourage others that trust in you trust in you I don't want to just live it I want to breathe it you know everything must be about trusting God and having faith that's what I stand on that's what I believe in and that's what has brought me this far by faith so the doctor um, they called me last week the nurse says we haven't heard back from the radiologist to read these reports we need to know what's happening it's been too long and we need to know answers. I said, I will call to see if I can kind of get it going. And when I called, um, they were like, it's only because of the coronavirus, it's only one radiologist that's there and he has six different locations that he has to read the, the results and all of this stuff. And I, they, um, they escalated it because 
after sending an email to the radiologist and not getting any report, now they needed to get the owner of the radiology department of that facility of that facility involved. So I was hoping to hear something Monday. I didn't. So today's Tuesday. Um, I got a call this evening, and here I am. Talk about bad timing because I was actually actually in the grocery store, but I knew that I needed not to miss this call because it's my doctor calling and I knew it had to be results and she heard back. So she says, um, I got the results. I have to report here in my hands. I said, okay, go ahead. And I'm there at the register, just, you know, I'm um, scanning my stuff and I'm listening to her. And she said, according to the radiologist, it never increased. Did you hear what I said? The tumor never increased. When they compared, they're saying it's the same size as before. And I was like, okay, God, all right, what else are you doing? Let me hear this. So I said, what about the other tumor? She says, he doesn't make mention of it at all. So now it kind of leaves. Listen, when I pray, I always ask God. I say, God, please confuse the doctors. Because a lot of these doctors, they don't believe in God. I say, God, please confuse the doctors. So that when you come out and you show up and you show out, they would know that it's nobody but God. It's no other God but you. She really didn't have answers to tell me. Because remember before, I was like, okay, doc, so does that mean that the tumor's not there. She's like, I don't want to build up your hopes. Let's just um, compare this. Let's just see. And now she was left silent on the phone like she did not know what to tell me. She just got confused and she goes, we're going to just do an MRI every year. Remember, the doctor was telling me every three to six months. Now she's going back to the regular. Let's just do it every year. Mind you, I feel fine. I look fine. I don't have any issues, but I still have to get myself checked. And she, listen, I don't hide in whom I trust. My doctors know this. They know on Christ the solid rock I stand. No other ground is sinking sand. I put all my trust in the one and only Jesus Christ. And here he is showing up and showing out. I don't know what the future holds. I don't know what's going to happen. But you know what? One day at a time. One day at a time. And my prayer is that... God would visit my doctor. God would just show her and show the radiologist that this is not medication. This is nothing. This is not your test. This is nothing that they have done, but this is all God. I am encouraging someone today. The doctors may have given you bad results from the past. Don't give up. Don't give in. I know most individuals, when they hear, oh, Stacy have two brain tumors, they already buried me. They have already had a funeral in their mind. I never did that. You know, I just stayed focused because I know that the reason that God have me here on earth is not over. And he has more that he wants to do in my life. So as I say, just to encourage, just to encourage. There was this song that came to me right before I did this video. And... As I say, faith is what I stand on. And this song is just simply saying, Faith in God can move a mighty mountain. Faith can calm the trouble seas. Faith can make the desert like a fountain. And faith can give you and me the victory. Have faith in God. Have faith in God. Have faith. In God for the answer, have faith in God. Have faith, don't give up. Subscribe, keep um, going, 
Don't get sidetracked. Stay positive at all time. God bless you. Until next time. Bye.